Fight. Ready. Good. All right, so here is Alistair Overeem. We'll see if we see those improvements in the footwork and the speed here early on in round one. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean, kicks. Oh, he's a jump. Big elbow there, Lance. Rosenstruck's now dealing with a cheat cut. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, right hand. Oh, roundhouse kick. Yet another huge kick lands. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Rosen strikes eye now closing up. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Rosen strike going through the leg kick. Nothing to do in there. Lands to the body there. Just over three minutes to go round one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job with accuracy. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Connected with a solid strike there. Kick checked effectively there by Rosens. Nice leg kick. Another one. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, nice job on the feet there by the decorated striker Alistair Overeem. Continues to bounce around when it comes to his training. Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico is trained at Team Elevation in Colorado, getting a lot of different looks and thereby presenting a lot of different looks to his opponents. Just over two minutes, round one. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to turn. Oh! He's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that's right hand. And now the elbow. Productive with the strikes here off his back. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Work, guys. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. 
This is a great position for a top fight. Rosen strikes oh, also yeah. saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruits. <laughs> Great block there. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicted. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots in the head anymore. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is... Oh! Different looks, he switches to Southpaw now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh! oh that's it! Oh my god! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alistair the Ream Overeem. All right, so a big win tonight for Alistair Overeem, sharing a moment now with his teammates. This was a big effort out of the ring tonight, really at his efficient best when it comes to his striking game. Picked his spots beautifully, and he's got another impressive UFC.